wrong with you? You that mad about Trump losing? I sure am. It don't even make no sense. I must be praying to the wrong God or something. Serving the wrong God. Mm -hmm. I done hate this butthole get up there. His evil, wicked behind. Don't care about nobody. Nobody but himself. Why you think but he, yet he can be the president. Why you think he's so and bad? And he go and commit all crime. Nothing happened to him. But other folks do the same thing. They go to prison. They lose their money. They do this. They do that. Not him. Why you think Trump's so evil? Why you think he's so bad, mama? Come on now. Because he wants to be. And first of all, his daddy told him how to be evil. Well, they probably like him because he tell good jokes, though. That's probably why he they vote He don't tell no good jokes. He don't even tell no joke. He just sit up there and make fun of folks and, and call folks all kind of names. I think they voted for him because he, he a comedian. Because he's stupid. He's a good and comedian. They, and they just like him. Yeah, I think they like him because he's a comedian. No, he ain't no comedian. <laughs> nope. Nothing he say is funny. Don't what be, he be doing is up there making fun of folks. Don't be that mad, Mom. It's going to be all right. I can't stay in that stupid butt. Just don't, don't just don't think about it, mom. Just don't think about it. How am I not thinking about it? I got to live here. He ain't gonna do that. He'll never do nothing else. Trump ain't gonna come to your house. <laughs> he ain't got to come to my house. How did we get here? How did we get here? What in the Alice in Wonderland nightmares is going on right now? All I can say is how fucking dare you? If you voted for that man, if you voted for anybody other than kamala and you live and you live in one of the states that it was you know close or if you didn't vote fuck you i chose family i chose women i chose america i love you how the fuck is this still happening all i've ever known politically is hatred I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done with you and your mother and your sister. I'm just done with all of this. <laughs> I'm sorry to all my friends who are Trump supporters. You don't understand how scared of this man I am. If this guy does end up winning again, all of the people who voted for him will be like happy and they'll just be celebrating. And everyone else, everyone who feels threatened by him is fucking scared. Like we're, we're scared for our lives. We're scared for our friends. How dare you put this man into office for another four years knowing damn well what it means for our country, what it means for us as a people. To know that there is that much ignorance and that much hate in this country it's so terrifying <laughs> it's so terrifying how the fuck are we back in this same situation again who the fuck is voting for him genuinely fuck you i don't want to hear about how shitty your life gets under his policies live with that decision sit with it let it make you uncomfortable. Fuck you. I want to thank the American people for the extraordinary honor of being elected your 47th president and your 45th president. Oh, I'm too depressed to talk about it. I'm happy to be alive. And I hope that everyone sees a nice way to go forward. I'm a little bit in the middle as a voter. Um, I think that the Democrats, they ran on two things largely, which was abortion and uh, gay rights. And unfortunately, those things don't affect all Americans. So it made sense why a lot of people switched to Trump. He had a lot more to say in terms of the economy and favorable things for the people. And I think that's what happened. So I don't know. I Whatever. It's fine. Oh, I'm drained. I'm drained. But it's what it is. The people have spoken, the people have spoken, and that's what it is. The people have the voice, and that's what it is. We just have to deal with it. And what are you hoping for in terms of change that can happen? Um, I hope that everybody will come together and work for the people. Because the people is what put them in power, so everybody will come together. Forget about Democrat, forget about Republican, we're all one, and let's work for the people. It hasn't soaked in yet, but I don't have a negative input on it. I think Trump is definitely more qualified so you have to go with that right exactly. you know I, I 
better candidate won. Whether I'm a Trump supporter or not, I'd leave that to myself, but I think he experience, experience. I think it's time that this finally happened, so I'm very excited. Uh, I'm a little surprised, uh, but not really, that like coming on the subway here today, I saw a lot of sad faces. I kind of like glanced over somebody next to me, her text message, and um, they were just like, oh, we're very disappointed. But I think it's time that people wake up. The people who are still unsure of what's going on, I think it's time people wake up. Trump wins. How about bursting into tears and screaming fuck for the next 45 minutes? Well, America is crying tonight. I'm not sure how much of America, but a very, very significant portion. And I mean literally crying. Everybody is crying and so upset. And it is the end of their world. Feels like the end of the world. We were on uh, Lifetime last night. Right. And I was uh, slowly getting drunk is what happened to me. How do we explain how this is possible? How did this happen? Any of these humans. politician versus racist fake gynecologist. Get your abortions now. Because <laughs> we're going to be you fucked know. and we're going to have to live. So I'm shocked, but I'm not surprised. It looks like America has elected an orange senile convicted felon over a somewhat problematic but competent woman. And they've done it again. And I'm just, I'm just lost for words, really. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. This can't be real. It's so fucked up. This morning I woke up to a text from my mom that said, hang in there girls, I'm so sorry about the results of this election and it makes me cry because I can't imagine being a mom and having to text your daughters that. It's so fucked up. There's no point in saying good morning because it certainly is not one. And it's easier for a whole lot of people. If you're Muslim, in this country, you, you, you don't have to worry if the president doesn't want you here. If you're an immigrant, you don't have to worry if the president's going to be happier to have babies snatched away or send, send dreamers back for no reason. This is vindication for a lot of people who have really suffered. You know, the, the, I can't breathe. You know, that wasn't just George Floyd. That was a lot of people that felt that they couldn't breathe. Every day you're waking up and you're getting these tweets and you just don't know. And you're going to the store and, and people who have been afraid to show their... Stop being a bitch and come on.